Shifting our focus now, Jerusalem woke up on a Thursday to the sight of a long red line painted by protesters along the roads leading to Israel's Supreme Court. This comes hours after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejected a compromise deal for his government's planned judicial overhaul. A small group of people in protective suits sprayed a wide red, red colored stripe. This was done to the roads leading from a police and magistrates compound up to the Supreme Court in central Jerusalem. A slogan stenciled in red onto the road in Hebrew, Arabic and English by the side of the road read, and I'm quoting here, draw the line. Protesters can be seen demonstrating as part of the National Day of Resistance. This comes amid thousands of Israelis are up in arms against government plans to give lawmakers more control of the judicial system. Just on Wednesday, President Isaac Herzog unveiled alternative changes to the judiciary. However, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejected the new proposal. The President warned on Wednesday that Israel was at a turning point. Isaac Herzog stressed he had been involved in mediation efforts and speaking with thousands of people for weeks, he said a civil war is a red line. של חיי אדם היא גבול שלא נגיע אליו, אין לו מושג. דווקא עכשיו, בשנת ה-75 למדינת ישראל, התהום במרחק נגיעה. אבל אני באמת מאמין בכל ליבי שאנחנו ניצבים היום גם בפני הזדמנות כבירה, היסטורית. הזדמנות להסדרה חוקתית, מאוזנת, חכמה ומוסכמת של יחסי הרשויות במדינה היהודית והדמוקרטית שלנו. The Israeli Prime Minister rejected the President's proposal. Netanyahu said that the main parts of the President's proposal will only worsen the current situation. I am going to go to Germany and I am going to go to Germany. The main issue that I am going to go to is Iran and also other issues that are important in the United States. הנושאים הביטחוניים לא לוקחים פסק זמן אפילו לרגע. בעניין מתווה הנשיא, אני חושב שכל ניסיון להגיע להסכמה, להידברות בוודאי, הוא ראוי, ועל כן נציגי הקואליציה. The Israeli government says the reforms are crucial. The government has been citing an imbalance that has given judges too much power over elected representatives. Critics nobly on the right have argued that Israel's top court judges have exceeded their authority by claiming the right to strike down legislations. The Netanyahu government wants to implement an override clause. The override clause would allow Parliament to overrule some Supreme Court decisions with the support of 61 lawmakers in the 120-member Parliament. Netanyahu's government wants to change the system through which judges are appointed, giving politicians more control. Netanyahu has dismissed the anti-judicial reform protests. The government sees it as a refusal by leftist opponents to accept the result of last November's election. The protesters say the future of Israeli democracy is at stake if the government succeeds in pushing through the plans. Apart from weakening the judiciary, protesters say that the plans will undermine the rights of minorities and open the door to more corruption. 